I'm Elisa Parker. This is the Wild and Scenic Film Festival, and it's been an incredible day. And we're going to also be here tomorrow connecting with other incredible people. So between earth and sky, you know, uh, we think of the trees as the grandmothers of our planet with history and knowledge and roots. And it's an extraordinary tale that is told through this film. And Derek is here. And Derek is the director of this film. Cinema photographer. Is that right? Director Cinema of photography. Director of photography. That's right. And he's in the trees and he's doing all the things. And Derek, it's so great to have you here with us. Yeah, it's great to be here again. And, um, one of my favorite festivals. And, um, you, we connected like four years ago? Yeah, I was here with another film of mine that I that I did direct uh, in 2020, right before COVID hit. This was the last festival I went to for a while, and uh, yeah, it's great to reunite with the festival and with you. And um, this is a special place, so it's cool. It to, is a special place, Derek. So I talked about the trees, and you feature one incredible woman. And tell us a little bit about her and why it was so important to capture her story. Yeah, so the film is about a woman named uh, Nalini Nadkarni, uh, and that is the aunt of the director, Andrew. And Andrew had set out to kind of explore his, his aunt, who, was, who is a world-renowned tree ecologist, uh, has literally in an issue of Playboy magazine. That's uh, right. I forgot that she was in Playboy magazine. In, in but a different an way article. than you might think. Yes. Uh, as a as a sort of uh, uh, a profilee, if you, if you can use that word, of um, uh, you know uh, women that they were featuring. Um, you know, not, not <laughs> um, in, in an editorial sense. In an I editorial say. sense. In an editorial by, sense. And she is she is incredible. By the way, she has this. She's Jimmy this contraption where she can climb the trees right yeah, she's yeah. a scientist as she's, well. she's a tree scientist who who has um you know been been featured in again across a variety of different platforms and um, her kind of claim to fame is she discovered that big leaf maples in washington state are home in the canopies themselves to sort of uh other life forms so that is organisms and vegetation that's existing purely in the canopies themselves. Um, and so her research was sort of grounded in that. She did research in Costa Rica as well. Oh yeah, in Monteverde. Uh, Monteverde. In the cloud forest. That's how the film kicks off. Uh, more or less, yeah. And uh, But the sort of inciting incident of the film and the inciting incident kind of of maybe a second chapter of her life is when she was doing a, um, a study in Olympic National Park in Washington State and ascending a uh, big leaf maple that we then return to and the rope snaps. She plummets uh, almost to her death and therein sort of catalyzes a, um, yeah, a near death experience that causes her to reflect on what has brought her up to that point, some childhood experiences that she uh, re-navigates and uh, the whole film, as we kind of discussed the other day, is, is sort of a, a meditation on what happens after devastation. Right, what happens after devastation. And so much even what we've been talking about today with just regeneration, mm -hmm. right? That exploration of, of death and rebirth. And that can be metaphorically as well. And she really does have this experience. And then she, a big part, like you said, with her own personal trauma she's had and even returning to the tree, which had been her sacred space, her sacred space. Um, it's an incredible film of highlighting her personal experience and stories around this. What was this like for you? So as a director of cinema photography and I mean, did you, we talked about this on the green carpet. Did you get up? In the trees, like you. By the way, he's been up in trees. I should say. Right. So, I, I had my, my own previous film had been about a tree sit a tree sitting movement, an active tree sitting movement in um, uh, Humboldt County, California. Uh, so these are people living in redwood trees uh, to stop a multinational logging company from cutting them down. Uh, and so I had been filming. In canopies high off the ground uh, right before I met Andrew and started working with him on uh, being a part of, of his film. So th the the parts that are filmed in the canopy in this were, were not actually me though. Um, most of those were filmed in Costa Rica and a lot of that was done actually with just a mounted camera on the helmet 
of Nalini herself as she, you know, ascended the canopy, and then I believe they gave a camera to her sort of right. assistant. Um, so we didn't have to, uh, you know, figure those logistics out quite quite as much on this. Um, the sort of emotional fulcrum of the film, as I mentioned, relates to this experience of, you know, returning to right. the, uh, the tree that uh, she fell out of, that, again, sort of paradoxically is both the thing that she looked to to nurture uh, herself and uh, <laughs> through her kind of childhood experiences and, the, and then the thing that also um, was sort of the last thing she might have seen, you know, before she before she died. Um, and again, the film has her return to that 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 place. Um, and so that moment, I guess, when we go back there, uh, required just a lot of uh, thoughtfulness around how we were going to cover that moment. And um, again, it becomes a kind of the climax, the emotional climax of the film. What is it that you want? No, like I can't talk. Look at Derek. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> He's left me speechless. Yeah. What is it you want people to take away from this experience, and how can we apply this to our everyday lives? You know, I, I, I think what the film does a beautiful job with, and what Andrew and his team did a great job with, is I really see it as um, a microcosm or an analogy uh, of, um, or just an allegory of, of, of what we're all experiencing now. Um, Nalini... Okay as the film gets into experienced childhood trauma by virtue of living in a very literal patriarchal uh, family um, I would contend that you know we're in the time of climate and biodiversity crises economic crises cri various crises of injustices that we're all living under yeah. we are living under the um, the sort of boot of uh, system of domination that uh, prioritizes the uh, and benefits the, the, the very few at the expense of, of most Many. of us. So I see her navigating that dynamic reflecting on um, you know uh, her sense of failure and um, having to confront that um, as something that is sort of tasked to all of us right now. Um, I think the themes of uh, regeneration, as you mentioned, and having to experience a, a certain type of death uh, to find that there's something on the other side of that right. is, uh, is incredibly pertinent to what we're all having to work through now as we sort of see that the environment that we love right. sort of just dissolving and, and, and trying to pick up the pieces of what, what comes after that. That is such a good point, Derek. Yeah, I mean, both what we experience with the pandemic, both what we're experiencing with our planet, and and having the courage both to face that and be and, and go in, because it really is going to require all of us to show up in our best way possible and take a leap and have the risk and courage to do that. Right. You know, right. and the, so much of this festival, the essence of love keeps coming up, but it's also so much around just healing as well, you know, yeah. and there's a lot to heal within ourselves in order to heal the planet. Yeah. And I, and I think the message of the film is, is acknowledging that that is um, that that is not a Hallmark card. There, 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 there needs card. to be uh, that becomes earned, that becomes valuable and, and uh, worthwhile only in confronting what we maybe don't want to look at. It's true. It's true. The film is called Between Earth and Sky. You can catch it here at Wild and Scenic and beyond because we're also screening virtual as well. Derek, it's so great to see you. Yeah, thanks I'm so glad me. you're back here at Wild and Scenic and we look forward to seeing you again. And thanks for bringing this film to uh, to us here. Yeah, it's great. Um, so inspiring. Our theme is real action, and let's get real. There are so many things to pay attention to, but we're also paying attention to what's happening inside. Again, you know, we all get to choose how we show up. The wind is at our back as we speak right now. The wind's at your back, and uh, here we are. We're showing up for each other. I'm Elisa Parker. This is the Wild and Scenic Film Festival. We'll be back.